Welcome back to the O'Shea Vlogcast. I am your host, O'Shea Duke Jackson. And today, coming back, the one, the only, the team, Steve King <laughs> Williams. He's back in the building. Uh, man, you can't say enough good things about Steve Dean Williams. He's back. He's no stranger to my main channel, no stranger to the secondary channel. What's going on, Steve? Man, I'm good, man. I appreciate you having me on here, man. Thanks for having me, brother. And like Steve said, let's eat. That's what he likes yeah. to say before we come on. Um, Steve, today's topic. We're rocking with because I can give you any 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 kind of topic. You could just oh, yeah. I can talk about food stamps and sandals and shit. You have something and, about and that. Grape sandwiches, yeah. We can talk about it all, baby. Yes. But 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 we, we're gonna uh go down to your expertise. You have the mindmanset.com. Man mindset. Oh, <laughs> man, man mindset. Man mindset, not the. <laughs> That's good. Man That's good. mindset. Don't, don't yeah, the man mindset. That. Yes, the man mindset. Yeah. Manmindset.com. Yes. You specialize in not only helping development, but at the same time, improving the quality of life for men in general. Um, yeah. let, 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 let's talk about the guys who are coming to you. And give us some examples of what a low quality of life is to Steve Dean Williams and to talk about that being down in the dumps. Because a lot of men that are watching the channel uh, are looking for some first some advice from you today. So kind of talk about being down in the dumps and what kind of clients you deal with at the bottom level of what they're struggling with. Just give us some examples of what they're going through. Well, we deal with guys from all ranges from uh, who has no, who, had, who don't have confidence, who have problems approaching women, who have problems texting women, talking to women, problems kissing women, problems having sex with women, problems uh, eating pussy, uh, problems with their relationships, with their girlfriends, with their wives, uh, being fathers, better fathers, better lovers, better husbands. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to, what we do is we specialize in from everything from alpha to omega. and We try to cover everything in between and even on Sundays. Um, usually the guys that we get are the guys who are, uh, what we call problematic. You know, they focus on problems rather than solutions, uh, guys who, uh, blame or they live in the past, meaning that, um, you know, if, if a woman turned me down yesterday and I see a new one today, I'm gonna think about the one that turned me down and I'm gonna use that as a reason not to talk to this new one or, um, they, they make excuses. They neglect ne uh, development. They live in fear. They stay in their comfort zone. When obstacles come up, they run. So, And then they're always wondering why they can't get the woman. Or, O'Shea, when they get a woman, mm -hmm. they don't know how to keep a woman. They don't know how to handle a woman. Uh, you know, they deal with a lot of women disrespecting them, throwing things, hitting them, abusing them. So we get a little bit of everything, fam. Wow. So you saving the world one man at a time. Yeah, that you, yeah that's our mind. Yeah, yeah, we doing it one man at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, like you were, you, I, I follow you on Facebook, and you talked about Steve Stevens uh, and what he was going through, you know, going around killing people and shit like that. He seems to be the perfect kind of guy to be a client for you. Is that right? Well, yeah. Well, a, a, lot, of, a lot of young men don't have a father and if they have father dad really isn't dad so you know i always talk about nature because i always talk I always go beyond the internet because a lot of people just stay on the internet because they think the internet was like the newest thing since like god created the heavens and earth and then the internet but what i do is i make sure that i tie in nature with everything because nature is nature nature doesn't tweet facebook or anything like that it just is nature so what I would with, with a gentleman like that, like I said before, you know, a lot like him and a lot of young men, they are outside of their nature because they are doing things that men don't do. They are, you know, procrastinating and begging and cupcaking and bending over backwards and chopping down trees and putting women on pedestals that don't deserve it, buying them dinners and drinks. And it's a bunch of bullshit that I'm trying to tell them. You don't need those things to get women. You just need to be a man about your shit mm -hmm. to get them. Well, let's let's deal with um, the rejection piece. Yes, because a lot of our guys who are listening 
they, you know, they may not come and comment in the chat that they're being rejected. Mm -hmm. But obviously, being rejected by a few good-looking women can definitely hurt you in the future. Um, well, let's talk about dealing with rejection because I know we're going to get to the quality of life piece, improving it. But talk about the guys that come to you dealing with rejection and how some men take it in a negative way. Well, they all take it in a ne negative way because they don't understand that rejection is always going to be with you. Uh, it's funny that a lot of men today, they will, you know, they want to go to McDonald's and they're like, you know what? I want a Sunday. They go to the cash register. They like, excuse me, man, can I get a Sunday? She says, no, we don't have a Sunday. So they, they have a choice. They either order something else or they leave to go to another restaurant. Mm -hmm. But it's just funny when they walk up to a woman, they think her saying no to them or rejecting them is the worst thing in the world. Where what they don't understand is, is that women are always testing these guys. See, mm -hmm. I always tell my clients to go for two no's, O'Shea. Because a lot of women, what they do is, you know, I always ask, let me ask you, O'Shea, why do you think a single woman wears a wedding ring? I don't know. The answer is this, is because she might just want to have a one night stand with a guy pulling her hair, smacking her ass, spitting on her and fucking her all kind of ways. But she needs to separate the guys that want the one night stand from the guys that want commitment. And what women do all the time is they will throw things out like saying, no, I'm not interested or I have a boyfriend to see what kind of man he's going to be. Because most guys that are really hungry and not hungry, like thirsty, hungry, but like really want to go after what they want. They're not going to take no, no, no is not going to stop me or I have a boyfriend is not going to stop me. That's why I say go for two no's. Now, if she says no twice. I leave her alone. But nine times out of 10, I'll say, you know what? Here's my card. Call me sometimes. We want to get away. We want to, uh, you want to talk or something like that. That's how it usually works. But the thing with their rejection is really, O'Shea, it's going to shock you, is the way they approach the woman. That's where they go wrong every time because their approach is so bad nowadays that these women can smell uh, the scariness, the weakness, the fear, and the fact that they don't know what they're doing, man. Let's talk about that for a little bit because a lot of brothers out here, and, and once again, Steve, uh, you know, like I don't ride with Curry. These guys are, are are up here when it comes to this kind of knowledge. And I'm way down. I got a little bit of game. Steve is they on another level. I'm like level five, they level eighty five. Okay. <laughs> um, you brought out a good point because what you're talking about now is many dudes feel like, oh, she's rejecting me because, oh, maybe I don't look a certain way. And there are good looking guys that go through the same shit, not just ugly dudes. You know, you have dudes who are six foot three, six foot four, muscles, can't get a woman. You know, the rich guys, it doesn't matter. You're saying that you guys don't have the right approach yes let, yeah. let, let, let's go back into that because you you was on something i had to reiterate it let, let's stay on that for a second talk about why i have a wrong approach okay the, the all right you have two different kind of guys you got guys that use what i call things outside of themselves as trinkets to dangle in front of a woman to get her and then you have the guys who have no sense of self that go and talk to these women now the first guy the first group of guy who had who dangles these are the guys that use their car, their rims, their clothes. They try to flash money. They got the jewelry. They got they got all these things, and they're trying to use those as bait to pull a woman in. Now, mm -hmm. don't get me wrong. Those things will attract a woman, but she's only going to be attracted to that thing and not that person. That means money is not a substitute for your personality. Money isn't a substitute for you being funny. You know, having a nice car isn't going to fix your born personality. It's not going to make you a better person and solve your problems with women. So that's the first group. The first group are always trying to use the flashy stuff because we've seen athletes and, and stars and, you know, uh, even rap artists who have a lot of money but still get treated like bitches around a woman, i.e., you know, Jay-Z in the elevator. You know what I mean? I mean, you know, people like that. 
doesn't matter how much money you have. If you're not a man, I mean, even though he took his wife's last name, I mean, that tells you already. But I'm just saying that, you know, money is not going to make you a man. Having a nice job isn't going to make you a man. Those are things you're supposed to do and you accumulate. Mm -hmm. Now, then you have the other group of guys who have no sense of self. So what they will do is we they will we, we do what I call throw a bunch of shit up on the wall and hope something sticks. So what I mean by that is, is that, OK, oh, Shay, let me ask you a question. If you have three beautiful women that were they look like secretaries and they had glasses on, they all wore the same outfit, but different colors. OK, there's just three different women. Mm -hmm. Which one is the whore? Which one's the slut? And which is the good girl? How can you tell? You can't, I mean, it's hard to tell unless you talk to her. Exactly. But what these guys are doing is that they're going to these women. Yo, baby. Hey, mom, what's up, girl? And, and, you know, talking all this shit to them, hoping that it will stick. Meaning that I'm not saying she doesn't want to sleep with you. I'm not saying she might not even she might want to suck your dick right in there. But what guys got to understand is a woman is going to some women are going to step back and see what kind of man you are first before they do anything to you. That's why what we teach is totally different from what everybody else teaches because I'm all about, I'm not about, hey, baby, hey, mama, what's up, girl, and all that other stuff. I'm all about being courteous because courteous is universal. Courteous has no color. Courteous, you can do that with any woman, whether she's a slut, a whore, or a good girl. You have It works every time because what you're doing is you're excusing yourself. Excuse me, you know, because you know she's got places to go. I don't mean to be rude. I'm not trying to hold you up. And then the next thing I teach him is to introduce yourself. How you doing? My name is O'Shea and you shake her hand because the, was, cause sex starts when you first meet. So I want to want you to make contact with her. And then you give her the reason why you stepped up to her like a man being assertive. The reason I came over here is because you caught my attention. And then you let her know what the deal is. After that, it's like, hey, you know what? I like to take you out for coffee or tea or ice cream sometime. Here's my number. Call me now. That is a simple, basic, universal thing that I teach my guys. But these other guys over here, you know, when you hey, baby, your mom and all this other stuff, they like, man, this motherfucker is just a, either a child. He don't know what he's doing or he's just reaching, trying to be something that he's not. So mm -hmm. then they just turn him down. And then what happens with these guys is they keep getting shot down so much that either they hate women and, quote, unquote, want to go their own way. Or do whatever they want to do because women are terrible because they don't want to talk to them. Or they get mad at the woman for the way they approached her. So, you know, you got rejection in two different ways, O'Shea. It comes, like, from two different sides, man. Wow. That's, that's actually very good. Let, let me go back to this, this, this tip here, okay? Because, brothers, uh, we want to give preference to what we say. He says, walks up to a lady. He says, Hey, you caught my attention. Yes. Powerful. He's talking heavy. Uh, now, before we get into that, that's I want you guys to write this down. Now, this this is Master Dean giving you a classic line. I'm telling you, it works. Ugly niggas, I've been using all my life. Actually, works. It works. That's why I had to stop him. Come back to that. Before we go into his response, let's do this. Let's like the video. I appreciate everybody coming in in the chat. Uh, spending some of your time with us today. Let's get the likes up, okay? And then we also have Sting, the Dean Williams, is going to go into this this line. But I want you also, for those of you who are new to my channel, uh, let's go ahead and subscribe to Sting, the Dean uh, channel also. So I'm going to put his channel here in the link in the uh, comment section. You'll also see it at the end of this. Uh, I'll put it in the description. But right now, if you're in the comment section uh, of the chat, hit his link, subscribe, Steve Bowler, AGK, Joe Cool, Abundant. Make sure you subscribe to Steve and Dean. And Dean, let's go back into that line. Why is that line so powerful? Okay. Uh, what I'm holding up, if you can show right now, I'm holding up right there. It's the blueprint right there. This is the blueprint on every woman out there, okay? A to B. That's the blueprint, okay? She's not waiting on the corner of 51st and 36th for you to come up and talk to her. These women have things to do and places to go and people to see. That's the first rule of the game. You got to understand that. She's not waiting for you. She's got things to do, okay? So that's why I say excuse yourself because what you know is truthfully she's got places to go. So me saying excuse me means, you know what? Hey, look, excuse me. I know you're busy, which is a truth. I know you have somewhere to go, which is a truth. And I'm not trying to hold you up. 
which mm-hmm. is saying that, look, I just want a little bit of your time. I don't need much of your time, just a little bit of your time. Mm-hmm. Then from that point, like I said before, sex starts when you first meet. It doesn't start when you put your arm around or you get a hug from her. I want you to touch her. I want you to make a connection. That's why I say introduce yourself and stick your hand out and shake it. That way, look, now that makes kind of like the James, I'm Bond, James Bond type bullshit where you're saying, hey, you know what? My name is Steve and your name is. And then let's say her name is, give me a name, O'Shea. Give me a woman's name. Give me a woman's name. Uh, Melissa. Okay. When she gives you your name, Melissa, that's when you, that's you take her name. That's where a lot of guys fuck up. You say, okay, hey, Melissa, how you doing? It's nice to meet you, Melissa. Like I said before, going back to courteous, Melissa, like I said, I know you're busy and I know you have somewhere to go. So at that point, she sees that you're being a gentleman about it. You're not being rude. You're not being disrespectful to her. Mm-hmm. But then at that point, it's time to go ahead and get to, get to business at hand. This is the reason why I stopped you. And the reason why I stopped you was, you know, I was trying to enjoy my day, but you caught my eye. So I had to come over here and meet you and talk to you, whatever you want to say, to let her know that she caught your eye and that you are, you want to get to know her better. That's where a lot of guys go wrong. They want to sit and pander and get her phone number and all this other silly shit where they're running behind her. And I'll explain that in a second, big dog. But then after you, after you do that, you tell her what the deal is. Look, I would like to take you out sometime. I'd like to take you out to coffee or, or tea or we could feed the ducks or ice cream. I don't care. Something inexpensive. Mm-hmm. Here's my card. Call me. Now, remember, let me give you the worst three things a woman can say. She can say, no, I have a boyfriend or fuck, get the fuck out of my face. That's the worst she can say. Mm-hmm. So even if she says no and I have a boyfriend, remember, I go for two no's. So if she says no, then I say, well, hey, look, here's my card. When you want to talk, when you want to get away, when you want to have a good time, give me a call. Now, the reason I'm saying all of this is because, again, I want to go back to before computers. There used to be a time in the 1800s, early 1900s, where women used to have handkerchiefs. And women had standards back then. When a woman saw a guy that she was interested in, she would drop her handkerchief near that guy. He would pick it up as a signal of courtship. I'm doing the same thing because I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. So the reason why I give you the, my number is two reasons. A guy that's getting a lot of pussy and that's arrogant is going to say, call me in the first place anyway. That's number one. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, right. That's number one. But number, but number two mm-hmm. is what's important here is that you got to show me that you're interested in me. That means if you call, if you're interested in me, you're going to call me. But I'm not going to run behind you, call you, blow up your phone just to make you feel good because, you know, you had an argument with O'Shea. So Melissa has an argument with O'Shea. O'Shea like, man, get the fuck out of here, girl. And then she's like, I want to feel good about myself. Let me go find some sucker who I can give my number to and they blow my phone up and make me feel good about myself and and make the motherfuckers like starve and beg. But there's another scenario because I know guys probably think, well, what happens if she says no to the card but take my number? OK, mm-hmm. if she does that, you take her phone number. OK, when you're ready to talk to her again, you text her. Hey, this is this is O'Shea. We met at the corner. You know what? If you remember me, give me a call. Now, again, you are telling her you're still telling her, call me, text me and throw her number away, because if she's going to text you anyway, you'll have her number on your phone at that point in anyway. But I want you to throw it away at that point, because if she's interested in you, She'll get back in touch with you. But that's important, O'Shea, because that's the beginning. Because, again, if if you don't do what you need to do right, O'Shea, mm-hmm. and she's texting you, and then from that point, this is their second problem because they don't know how to talk to women. But that's a whole other story. But I'm just saying, but that's how, and that's the reason why I tell them, don't, hey, baby, don't say anything off the cuff because I don't know you yet, but I'm not saying she's not nasty and dirty. I'm just saying, look, patience i'm chill the pussy's already mine i just got to give her a reason why she's a suck my dick type attitude okay that's a good attitude to have now before we uh continue to go i know we have some new people coming in thank you guys for coming and supporting us and my boy donnell brother light skin carl willie with the vista print cards jr wisdom what's up uh gemini uh k-love so I see a bunch of y'all are in here in the building. Joe Cool. Uh, I want to shout out to Abundant Script. You know, a lot of my people, Q James, Blue Suspect, 
Lot of, the, uh, shout out to uh, the Prophet of Thought series. I got to get him on here too, man. So he's a good YouTuber also. So, you know, shout out to everybody in the chat. If you're here, do me a favor. Go ahead and like the video, okay? Steve the Dean Williams, as I said, you know, I reached out to him today. Uh, you know, he came out to talk to you guys. Like I said, here come high def. Oh, what we are, are about being violent. I told you, light skin niggas is crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, like the videos. Uh, high death about to shoot me. I'm scared. Uh, I'm about to start, about to be quiet. So um, let's go ahead and and, and and get the likes up, you guys. If you can't like the video, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into actually improving the quality uh, of life as a man. Now, Steve. Yes. Um. A lot of men, a lot of black men. Yes. In particular, this is a yes. problem because we're an underserved population, right? Yes. It's a lot of us, but we don't have. The tools like black women have ebony essence.com stuff. Brothers and men in general have a low quality of life. Yes. We we do. We do. Um, and I think what black men are looking for, I could be wrong, but what the brothers like Donnell tell me, uh, brothers like High Def, why he supports, you know, channels like Mind Anger Man, brothers are looking for a, a better quality of life. We all are. Yes. Right? What, what can, what, where do we start, in your opinion, with improving our qualities of life as, as, as men in general? Where do we start first? Well, we, we, we have to start looking in the mirror because if you want something of quality, you have to be of quality yourself. And, say it again. Say it again. Okay, you have to start looking in the mirror. If you want something of quality, you must be of quality yourself. Okay? Say it one more time. If you have you got me take to it, if you want to be of quality, you got if you want a quality woman, a quality thing, you have to be of quality. Clips of organ moment. Keep preaching. OK, <laughs> OK. Well, the reason I say that for a lot of you guys, because I what I teach guys now is more about their king, their man, their warrior and their lover. Uh, there there are there are four components in every man that they need to know and know how each of those things operates like a computer, like an operating system and everything connects uh, with each other. Uh, your king is about your legacy, your last name, what you stand for, your nut and things like that. So that means that a woman does not get an audience with the king until she shows herself worthy of that, meaning that she doesn't get my sperm. She doesn't uh, she doesn't get my last name. She doesn't even get my attention until she's worthy of that. That's your king. Your warrior's job is the one that goes out there and um and hunts for the the realm. That's the guy that when he 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 wants to get more territory, more women, he goes after, he hunts and defends the the kingdom, meaning that you have a standard where a woman comes into your life where she knows uh, what your standard is, uh, knowing that you're drama free, you don't put up with stuff. These are the things that give you the quality that forces women to be better women. Your your man inside of you is the is the one that speaks for the king. Remember, you don't get an audience with the king, but you should you get to see the man first. You get to meet the man up front and know what things are like. So if you're worthy of my last name, then you get that audience with the king. The lover, on the other hand, and a lot of guys understand this. The lovers where a lot of a lot of us uh, men go wrong because they're stuck in Miss Crabtree's fifth grade class of birds and bees, and they don't know about the vultures and hornets. They don't know about uh, the eating a pussy right or fucking or kissing and, and things like that. So they do just the basic stuff that they either see in porn or they you know just do basic stuff that turn women off as well. So you need these things to run in a synchronized. It has to be congruent in order for a woman to see. Wow. This is a quality individual. I don't care if he's working at Chuck E. Cheese and McDonald's or he doesn't have a job as long as he's but he's he's someone that has his shit together mentally, then that's what someone is gonna follow. Okay, Steve, let me play Devil's Advocate. We have sure. a in the chat and, and you brothers out there. Um I know many of you guys know Steve the Dean from this channel. Uh so what I want you to do, uh if you don't know him, go into the link. Click his name, Alpha Male Society. I'll put his information in, in the description link also afterwards. So you can go ahead, Amos Coates, shout out to you. Go ahead and subscribe to Steve the Dean. JJ, subscribe to Steve, uh, Steve the Dean. Listen, uh, the brother JJ asks a question. And if you guys want to ask questions, put it here in the chat. He says, what's the game for the white girls? As if, you know, maybe white women are, uh, are a little bit different 
than black women um, in your approach. So like what you just said, is it different for white women than it is for black women? That's why we call it a man mindset. It has no color. It has no age. It has no race. It has no religion. It's a mindset. It's a behavior that you have. I don't care if she's white, green, purple, red, have three eyes, four heads, and two tails. A man is a man, basically. So you you, you guys have to stop trying to separate a, a, a color or, or a race. They're women. They all bleed once a month. That's that they all have in common. And when they get older, the eggs dry up and they get wrinkles and shit like that. They all have that in common. But the difference is it doesn't matter what color she is. When she sees a man, she's going to have to adjust her behaviors and her attitudes because a man does not tolerate nor put up with. And uh, no, so it doesn't matter what color uh, the woman is, man. doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, so I think some people ask the same thing. He's answered foreign women. He just says, listen, same thing. Okay. It doesn't yeah. matter foreign where you're at. Okay. So once again, let me do a little bit of intermission real quick, Steve. You don't mind. Dude. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Two things. Let me take a little bit of an offering. Now, I ain't talking about no money. Okay. We're going to do the offering right now. Offering basket. This is Sunday. Okay. So two things in the offering plate today. First thing we're going to do is put on the good, amazing grace by Reverend Charles Nix. Okay. Oh, yeah. You niggas know what time it is. You hear it, Steve? Hallelujah. You hear it? Listen. Hallelujah. I need all you niggas to go like the video right now. Okay? <laughs> if you are just uh, hey. why, like the video. Okay. Oh, shay. I mean, it's, it's the open time. The likes oh, are crazy. Oh, shay. Get the likes up on the video. I got 117. All right? Oh, clips on the board. You got clips on the board. Oh, you know? Let's get the likes up, you guys. I need 26 people to like the video right now. Yes, yeah, yeah. Y'all hear the music going. You hear Steve catching the funny ghost. Not the Holy Ghost, the funny ghost. Okay. Oh, Shane. Let's get the likes up here. Get the likes up. They're the room. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up. Hi, Oshay. Okay. Get them up. Get them up. Get the likes up. <laughs> I need y'all to get these motherfucking likes up, nigga. Stop putting condoms in the offering basket. No <laughs> condoms, please. Oh, well, <laughs> no condoms. No condoms in the offering plate. Hey. Oh, shame. Okay, get these likes up. Gil, I see you. You like the video. Okay, that's that's one thing. That's one thing. Okay. Now, now, y'all see, we got Steve in here. So I'm a I'm a, I'm a uh, change up, put it back. Let's like Steve's video, okay? Hi. Let's subscribe to Steve Dings, okay? <laughs> subscribe. Go in the bottom of the damn comment section. Oh, yeah. $25, oh, $25, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, y'all niggas, y'all yes. niggas money. We said like the video, but I'll take the money. Thank you, I appreciate take it. Take the money, O'Shea. Go ahead. No, nigga, don't put that condom in there. No. no condoms. No condoms. Nasty motherfuckers. Nasty motherfucker. Thank you, Crystal Boo. Listen, like Steve, subscribe to Steve the King, okay? Need y'all to do that. All right, that's enough for this Oregon. I'm talking to you. Okay, listen, y'all. Listen, you can't let them. I feel my help. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. I got to talk about one of these niggas. Here, here, here come one of these niggas all the time talking about, I, I, I ain't got no connection. Every time we do a show, it's always one fuck nigga. Always <laughs> one. Shout out to my man, Doug757. And Crystal Jackson, my boo out there. You niggas always come in here trying to fuck the show up. Talking about, I can't, I can't hear nothing. Nigga, that's because you were, you know what? I'm going to roast you after this. When this shit get over, roast time. 30 minutes on your motherfucking ass. I'm going to start putting me out of here with that bullshit. Let's get back to Steve, all right? Steve, they got they gave us 88 likes, man. So, so Thank you. We, 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 we rock it, man. We rock it. We, we have a good time. Steve, um, okay. My approach is good. Yes. Everything is getting better. Yes. Okay. But maybe I'm not making as much money. Right. Maybe I'm not able to do the things I would like to do. 
I'm not able to travel, Steve. I mean, I know Steve the Dean lives in Texas. He lives in a big house. They stopped. <laughs> he got hella big ass. He got he got big microphones. <laughs> he got a big picture of him in the background. That's my I mean, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, he makes good money. I mean, Steve the Dean is living the life I want to. I want to have that kind of. Why can't I have the same quality of life as Steve? But I'm improving. Well, you, you can have that. And that's what a lot of guys understand. See, they have, remember, O'Shea, I tell that we, we've talked before. There are three rules, that the three laws they got to follow. That's the law of the land. Don't kill anybody. The law of the street. Don't pass a red light. The law of your job. That means go to work without getting fired. But outside of that, you create everything else. And again, I, I'm not, I'm not going to try to go to their fuck game, but again, a lot of guys fuck game is the reason why women have to force them to compensate other shit. Because if you fucking and doing things right, guess what? Number one, she, uh, Valentine's day, she's taking you out Christmas. She's buying you gifts. Thanksgiving. She wants to spend time with you, but for some reason, every, these guys are doing the exact opposite. And, but anyway, but, getting back on the street but it, i mean all that connects as well but the thing is they're making it too much about these women and not about them because like i say o'shea if you had like every woman had goes to a job and it's funny that they respect the rules of the job they respect the models the legacy statements of the job but then come home and test these men and they're failing the test that's the problem women are always going to test to see what kind of man you are and if you're not a man's man in her eyes, she's going to see you as a bitch. Then she's going to take the role of the man and treat you otherwise. Okay, let's, let's kind of go back to this point. Now, shout out to my man, High Def. He donated $2.13 to say, High Def, there you go. He said, give me my $2 back. <laughs> <laughs> give him a call back, too. High Def, man. I, I love, I mean, I'm crazy about High Def, Crystal. Man, hi, Dev, man. He's such a good dude, man. I remember right. when Negro Master came out, and uh, he's hilarious. But I actually think he can have his own goddamn YouTube because he's so full of fucking shit. Um, <laughs> shout out to him, man. He, he you know, light skinned niggas do have jokes, so, and they probably got hands too. So, y'all better stop fucking around with them. He's dangerous. Listen, Steve, you're telling me that the reason why I might be having problems is because I can't fuck good? I, you know, the, you know, the, the biggest problem I have with all my clients uh -huh. is I always tell them two things. Y'all fuck game is terrible. Y'all don't know how to kiss, eat pussy or fuck. I used to be a gigolo. So I learned some shit when I was young, but uh, a lot of these guys laugh at me. But then when they get the products that I have, like the kissing 101, the fucking 101, the five play, they're like, damn, you a freaky motherfucker. I didn't even know I could do that to a woman. And that's what I'm saying. But see, that's, that's on the back end. But the front end, they don't know how to talk dirty to women. They don't know how to, they don't know how to even text dirty, message dirty, email dirty went to women. They don't realize, like I told you how you have the king, the warrior, the man, and the lover. Well, what they don't even know, they don't have they don't know about the the seducing guy, the romantic guy, the nasty, the freaky, and the dirty guy. Those are arrows that they can pull out. They don't know about that guy and when they're supposed to bring that guy out. Because the thing about this, O'Shea, I always laugh about is that, you know, to a woman, an orgasm to her is like the best sex ever, right? Like just getting one orgasm. But think about this. What if I get you on the phone and give you four orgasms over the phone without even touching the pussy first? What if I can touch you in a way with your clothes on to make your pussy wet? See, you know, I don't know if they, they have, uh, uh, I'm sure they have malls where you're at. You know, when you go to the food court, o O'Shea. Mm -hmm. You always go when you go in the food court. What do you see? You see somebody with a stick and a piece of meat saying, "Hey, try this, try that, try this." What they're trying to do is give you a sample or a preview of something. So if you like it enough, you'll go wait in line. So what these guys are doing, they're giving women these previews of what they're going to be like out inside the bedroom by the way they kiss, the touch, or the talking, and that turns women off. So what women do is they make these guys work harder. That means you got to give me four or five dinners to balance it out. You got you to gotta buy me a dress or buy me this and buy me that to balance out the sex. So, uh, like, and, and, and you know the shocking thing is, O'Shea, the thing about us that no one else does, I bring – women to the guys now O'Shea I got my I got the man mindset chat line 
and I I was on there. I've done I did a video last night, and I and they got audio on my page of me on that chat line, just saying a goofy message and getting tons of women saying, "Look, you ready for this, O'Shea?" They they they, they got the women that want to play with their pussy. They got the women that want to fuck, and then they have the women that just want a relationship, right? Mm -hmm. But again, I think these guys are afraid of not rejection of failure, but success because I'm bringing them the women now. Now I'm saying, hey, look, y'all been asking for the women. Y'all just, some of you guys just want to fuck. Okay, here's the tears the man mindset chat line. Get on there. There's tons of women just want to play with their pussy. Let's see how your mouth game is. Because if your mouth game is good, O'Shea, because what we used to do back in the day, you know, when Blockbuster, I don't know if you remember Blockbuster in the 90s and shit. Yeah, yeah, I remember. But back, but back in the day, we used to use our mouthpieces to get women to have us travel. They would pay for our, our, our plane tickets, bus tickets. They play for a hotel just off of our mouthpiece. And so I'm trying to show these guys, if you got the mouthpiece and you can talk a good game to these women, they will go on Skype and play with their pussy. They will pay for you to fly. It's not just being on the phone with them. You can you can show them with your mouthpiece or your fingers through texting O'Shea that if I got hold of that pussy, I'm gonna do things to you that no man has ever done before. And these guys ain't ready for that because they've never heard that before. I know I'm sorry, I'm talking too much, but it just got I, you know I love this shit, dog. <laughs> no, 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 excellent point. Hold on, let me shout out to my man Perry Stanislaw, the great critic. He's the only dude that will criticize you to you in the goddamn ground, then give you some money. That's what he likes to do. He likes to <laughs> criticize you. He'll go on somebody else's channel, and wear your ass out, and then come and give you some money. Shout out to Perry Stanislaw, man. Been following me for a minute. Appreciate that, brother. I'm still waiting on his article on the black juggernaut, the Negro Man of My brother's from London. Very, very highly intelligent, highly educated, but he will wear your ass out. Well, where are you out? Where are you out on a thousand letter essay in your comment section? So shout out to that. My man Caribbean Freddy, I see him. D trains bunks. Shout out to you. Voltron 512. What's up, player? I see you, man. You've been participating. Thank you for coming in. Um, you guys do me a favor, man. Like the video. We're gonna take a quick intermission here. Uh, I got 117 people watching right now. I got 94 people who liked the video. We're in here with Steve and Dean Williams. We're going to go back to talking dirty to women because, once again, this is what Steve teaches, okay? And I know for a fact I probably get improved my, you know, <laughs> my skills. I've been telling my girl, look, I'm going to you, rub on your ankles from the back. That's probably not working. All right. Do me a favor. <laughs> I need four people to go like this current video that you're listening to. That will put us up to 100 likes. So when you do that, Thank you. 101. Keep that likes coming because what happens is this promotes uh, the video and this promotes Steve Dean Williams. He's giving an excellent interview, great interview. Keep liking the video. It is free to do so. Okay. Now, uh, let's also do this. Just take a little quick intermission. Go into the comment you see I have uh, Alpha Male Society. I'm posting this link. Subscribe to Steve the Dean Williams there okay he has an excellent channel you will learn a lot from him his channel was really 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 the last month or so i've been seeing a lot of growth there a lot of brothers have been following him from all across black youtube uh he's been helping a lot of brothers out so let's go ahead and subscribe to steve the dean williams if you when you do that say sub on the bottom that way i can track you steve let's go back to um sex and talking dirty because listen let's be honest a lot of men think they know how to fuck <laughs> Um, listen, I'm, I, I probably think I do. Maybe go ask my girl. She might think I'm not as good as I think I am, right? Yeah. Every dude thinks that they can fuck good. Yeah. Every dude. Yeah. I'm going to tell you all I know. Steve Harvey was the host of Family Feud. Yes. Right? Yes. They asked the question, how many men, uh, out of, in the interview, 100 men, how many men think they are really good at sex? You want to know how many men they said thought they were good at sex out of 100? Take a guess. Uh, out of 100, I would say 23%. Nope. You one more guess. Shit. Uh, fuck. I, I, it's, I'm gonna go, I, I'll say 15%. I can't give them credit. I'll say 15. Okay. Out of 100 men interviewed that thought they were good at sex, 100%. Oh, thought they were good. Oh, shit. 
healthy work. Yeah. And even if even at your numbers, it would have been like 77% thought they were good or 85%. No, 100% of wow. men thought they knew what they were doing sexually. This cannot be true, brothers. It's not, it's not, it's not. That means in this chat, some of you niggas can't fuck. Some of you niggas can't no pussy. Some of you niggas don't know how to rub no ass. Some of you, you niggas don't know what the fuck you're doing. But okay. O'Shea. Yes. O'Shea, it's not just see they they think it's the physical see they see i always ask my clients how many pussies does a woman have and they will always say one i say nah that's your problem y'all motherfuckers going after the wrong pussy y'all putting too much money in the wrong pussy you going for the pussy between her legs i want the pussy between her ears because once you have the pussy between her ears that's when you become a habit and an addiction it's not about attraction at that point that's when they you become a habit and an addiction because and then i just ask them do y'all write poetry they like no nah, that's gay that's stupid i'm not saying you got to write some goofy ass poetry but you know what words are powerful words that you text are powerful and how do i know we know 50 shades i'll use 50 shades of gray just that book alone the book the words in that book drove women to not only bring cucumbers to the movie theater it was mommy porn all that all that stuff because the words were so powerful it took her to another place mentally that unlocked the pussy down there and that's the thing the problem they think it's the physical act of you just i'm gonna beat that pussy up that makes me a good lover no the great lovers can talk her out to put that's what i'm saying if i get her on the phone i'll get her to submit the pussy to me within a few days before i fuck her because i i know how to do that though that's that's what i'm saying the sex is more mental for women it's the it's the sensual aspect it's the connection it's you being not it's you being doing more than that uh, 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 uh. you got to be able to talk in her ear and move mountains in her mind man it reminds me of what May said back in the day. You got to get into her head before you get in her bed. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Abs yes, that's what makes a great lover. That's what makes a great lover. A bad lover, O'Shea, is the one that has to buy a bunch of dinners. He got to trick his money off. He's got to walk on eggshells, and he's got to beg for that shit. Why beg for something that should be yours automatically based off your manhood, man? Uh, uh, let me do this. Um... There's a brother in here named Caribbean Freddy. I like him, right? And uh, he says, uh, this is what he says. Ariel Garcia, thank you for the donation, brother. I appreciate you. He said, I just don't see how getting a woman or a pussy can improve the quality of my life. Women cost money. And even if they don't, they are time consuming. Mm -hmm. You niggas wilding, change the title. What do you, I mean, it could be yeah. a very good point. Well, well, you have, you have a thing called asexual males out there. You got guys that have no, no game about themselves. So what they want to do is they want to try to run away from the problem instead of, you know, pushing their ego aside and saying, look, I'm not great. I need help. Uh, again, I didn't never said that women are, are a part of being a man. They're a perk to being a man. I never said that you got to do everything for a woman. You don't have to do anything. You, you know, if you want to trick your money off to a woman, go ahead. But I can go get a two dollar loaf of bread, get the pussy that day and feed the ducks at the same time. So I totally disagree about spending money. But if you want to spend your money, that shows how weak your game is. Because, again, what did I say before? If you got to trick off money to get pussy. And that shows how weak your game is because your mouthpiece should be able to get the pussy, not the money. O'Shea? Let me let me add to that. Um, there are guys like, like this, okay? And this other guy says, well, Freddie has a point. Let me tell you this. The quality of life is different for each man. All right? All that we're talking about today improves your quality of life, your confidence, what you believe in, all of these women are, listen, men are motivated. This is a fact. Men are motivated by attractive, beautiful women. If you're not, you're gay. It's as simple as that. Yeah, yeah. It's right? your birth rate, your pussy. I don't understand that shit. You, 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 you just, here go high death starting again. Uh, you know, this is the thing. And, and every man is different, right? Every man is different. Some men may not be motivated. You know, but for many men, 
You have brothers, right? Think about this. Why are there so many black men in Brazil? Why are there so many black men wanting to come? You know how many emails I get from brothers want to go to Poland? Want to come to Ukraine? You think niggas want to come out here and just see motherfucking statues and shit? <laughs> no. You know fuck about that. Do you know why men are going to Costa Rica and going to the Philippines? Because beautiful women improve your quality of life, nigga. Yes, yes, yes. I don't give a fuck what you say. A woman who is beautiful and being around beautiful has been studies shown you live longer. Dude, you live, you're happier. That's the truth. That's, yeah. There's nothing like a beautiful woman on your arm. There's nothing like it in the world, you know? Not There's it. nothing like it, bro. Like, you you can say, and as niggas like this, I'm telling you like this. Now, I mean, I, I, mean, I like Caribbean. He's a cool guy. He's, you know, he's a guy I really like. But the thing about it is a dude like this, let, 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 let the right chick walk by you that's into you. You gonna be, nigga, you gonna be, you, you, you gonna be happy as hell, nigga. No, it's, you, I, don't think, I don't think I don't think I don't think you'd be happy. I think you'll be scared. I'm not trying to knock him because I don't know him as a man, but I only do behaviors. So uh, if he saw a woman that he liked, his problem is he hasn't he doesn't have a mouthpiece. His fuck game is terrible. and He doesn't know what to do. So he would rather make a million excuses why he shouldn't. Remember, I said problematic. Make excuses when obstacles come up. You avoid them. Instead of doing what men do, show me a lion that walks up to a zebra and says, hey, zebra, check out this grass. I'm a grass eating lion. I just want to hang out with the zebras and all that other shit, the other animals and hang out. This well, we were we were brought here to procreate. And unfortunately, this 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 world we live in has taught a lot of men that, you know what, you're not allowed to go after women. It's shameful to go after women or guys who can't get women want to get around a bunch of other losers and have these little cuddle parties where they're holding each other and saying, well, it's OK. We don't need women. We don't need it. I don't look. I don't need fucking women. But you know what? I like women. I mean, who the fuck doesn't like women? I mean, to, to even say that shit, you got to question, you know, again, if you like guys or you asexual, I can't knock you, but you'll be, I just age O'Shea. I'm just saying behaviors because I know you and I love round asses and fat titties. I never heard a motherfucker tell me, well, why are we talking about women? I, I don't know. I mean, listen, y'all, you know, for those of y'all who are on my Facebook, you, you see me and my girl out in Budapest, Hungary, right? You, I'm, I'm ugly, but she ain't. I mean, if you, you've seen her, y'all seen her, right? I'm going to tell you like this, dude. And that's for dudes like Mo, dudes like Caribbean Freddy. No fine-ass woman that looks good is going to just, for the most part, I mean, this, you might disagree. Beautiful women, it's a cost to that. You talking about, you had to spend no money. Listen, nigga. A girl, that woman that looks good, everything that, 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 that that's worth having costs something. If it costs you time, yes, money, nigga. Yes. You know, I don't, I don't get what you niggas think. You know what? Let me put this organ on. I'm about to roast some of you niggas right now. Let me keep this motherfucker. Hold on. <laughs> Give me a minute, Steve. I'm sorry. Man. I Go ahead, fam. You ain't fucked up. You know what? Let me give you niggas something. You sorry, motherfuckers. Let me give you niggas something real quick. I'm going to spit this shit to you. Let me turn down Charles next. You sorry niggas. This why you playing with your dick right now with three fingers in a bottle of flour. You motherfucking niggas is sick. You the fine ass woman is gonna bring her goddamn money over there with your dumb ass. Nigga, you over there looking like Billy D, not even Williams, nigga, Billy P. Williams, nigga. Ain't no good looking girl with money you don't wanna fuck with you. That, that's that ain't even no goddamn sense. If you want a woman that looks decent, seven, eight, or nine, nigga, you better have some shit going. You got a nigga, it costs money, nigga. Do it cost money for you to be on here right now? Yes, nigga. This get up cell phone bill. iPhone costs money, motherfucker. It costs money for gas. It costs money for food. Hallelujah. Nigga, if you want a girl with a fat ass to be around your motherfucking ass, you have to do something. Pay a bitch phone bill every now and then. You have to buy the bitch a sandwich. It costs money, nigga. You niggas out there that think this shit don't cost no goddamn money, you niggas is crazy. That's why you niggas fuck with fat bitches. That's why you got ugly bitches. That's why you have bitches with your breakfast thinking. These hoes breakfast thinking, you get mad because all your bitches is musty. I'm trying to tell you motherfucking niggas. I'm trying to tell you something. That's why black men are so fucking thirsty. 
Y'all be fucking with fat ass bitches because you cheat. Yep. If you want a bitch that look good, it's gonna cost you, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you say. Like Obsidian said, beauty costs. I don't want to be around with no sloppy ass, fat ass woman, smell like nothing but ass and cheese and doo doo sandwiches. Ass and that. cheese. I'm just keeping it real. Look, nigga, I just took my girl to Budapest. We stayed there for seven goddamn days. I, Donnell, don't laugh. Don't laugh. I was there. I spent $600 in boots. More than that. Okay. Another something, 400 for the flights. And I had a good damn time. And you know why that costs money, nigga. No woman want to be with no goddamn nigga that's sitting around. If the woman is good and she's decent, she's trying to be with you, nigga, don't nobody want no cheap ass man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, nigga. You same niggas will be out there talking about, I won't wear these pro wings. I'll buy these Jordans. Mm -hmm. They'll be in line for the Jordans, of course. Yeah. The reason why you do that, nigga, is because I'm telling you, dude, if you want a good woman, it's going to cost you some money. It is. I I'm just, I I I I'm not going to sit here and lead you niggas down the goddamn wrong path. If you want something, you know your dick get hard for a good looking woman, but you need to build the infrastructure to take care of that. If you niggas out here talking about, oh, well, she better have her own money. What the fuck with a woman that got her own money? Yeah, she'll want to fuck with you, but women like shit too, nigga. You niggas got to stop that shit. You're going to be, you're going to lead yourself down a whole motherfucking path as she dick itis. Well, you know, O'Shea. Come um, on, the, the, you know, you know, Shay. The the problem with guys like that is that they don't have four things. There there are four things they don't have, and you can always tell. Um, and it, and you know what? I you know what? If I could give Caribbean a, a fruit basket to say thank you, I would because I know he probably hangs out with a bunch of women that he ain't trying to fuck. So I would just hang out with him just so I can fuck his girls because. Guys like that, guys like that are, are just don't have a what I call look, they don't have a self definition. They don't have self awareness and understanding. They have no self concept. And the fourth one is no self focus. So that's why they they would rather be on the sideline instead of getting to the game. And like I say, I'm not mad at it. I'm not, I just need to know what club he go to. So when he buying them bitches drinks and shit, I just want to come and get the apples when they fall from the tree. It's sad, man. It's sad. I just, wow. Wow. Listen, listen. This is what I'm talking about, right? There are simps out there who are paying for bitches and shit like that. I understand. <laughs> that's, that's simps, nigga. You know, you're not getting nothing from the bitch you over there fixing her goddamn shit. I'm talking about the woman want to, okay, Caribbean Freddy. The woman wants to be with you. Look, you got a goddamn car charge. You have a charger in, 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 as your profile picture, okay? So you wanted that car because that costs money, right? Now, that car can't, can't come in your house at night and suck your dick. That car can't come in and cook you no know, goddamn collard greens, nigga. It just can't. <laughs> you know, you niggas got to stop having that attitude that, oh, I don't want to work hard. Like, a woman is supposed to just, you know, come out. Pussy, you, mean, you mean the pussy stork, dog. The pussy stork is supposed to come down and knock on their door and drop them women but see o'shea but o'shea listen o'shea you can't get mad you got to understand this look everybody can't be a winner dog we need indians we need see the thing we need and this is this gonna sound fucking harsh but let's be real we need more guys like caribbean out there because i need more guys to go get that ladder and climb the tree and start picking the apples for me i don't want to change him let, let him look you listen you can't change somebody that doesn't want to work hard and doesn't want to change, who has a, a, a car charger for his picture because he's too ashamed to show his own picture. See, that's what I'm talking about. Be, if you were a man about yourself, you shouldn't have to floss a car charger or show your car to try to impress a woman. You should have your picture on there and let her decide what the deal is. But again, I'm not knocking them. I, I look, I, hey, I like old boy. Because I just want to know where he hang out at, where, where he go clubbing at, and, and where he where the bar. That's what I want to know. Yeah. I think, uh, uh, take this nigga outside of here, that nigga probably be spending hella money on dates, nigga. I know he does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. But, Gotta but you guys understand capitalism, how this works. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, the MGTOW thing, that's for, you know, like I said, don't, don't complain about, you know, like I said, his brothers out here, for example. And we're going to continue with the interview. Let me just say this so we can get back to Steve. My boy, Phil Cole, 
Birth of the Universe. All right, you guys know him. He's living in Russia. Okay, Charles Tyler Show just moved to Brazil. All right, these dudes. Now, while they've been there, they've started businesses that made them more money than they would have than in America. But these brothers are out there because they wanted to be around quality of life. Russia is fucked up in the weather, man. I'll tell you that. There's just nothing pretty about Russian weather. But the women are so top notch there, right? And depending on where you are, to go to dinner in certain places, don't cost you but five or ten bucks. I mean, I was in Ukraine. Listen, brothers, I'm telling you the truth. I was in Lviv, man, about two, three months ago. Me and my me and my girl had dinner. It was at a at a at a five-star, four-star restaurant. It was 16 bucks. You know what I mean? So the, it's all about improving the quality of life. These guys are living in a new place. It's cheaper there. They have U.S. money there. That's improving the quality of life. And that's what we're going to get into now, Steve. Travel. Foreign women. I know you deal with clients everywhere. Yes. Talk about the, 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 the type of clients you deal with in what countries. Um, just so these guys know the, your, your, your level of expertise. Well, well yeah, it's, it's, it, the thing is, it's funny, uh, O'Shea, it's universal. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter what city they're in or what state or country they're in. They still have the same mentality and mindset that uh, a lot of guys have. They're just they're just really intimidated by a beautiful woman. And they think that they got to, uh, you know, kill, slay the Minotaur and bring the head to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro to get her. And yeah, they, every guy I talk to has the same problem, no matter what country they're in. They all have it's universal, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, let me, let me uh, talk to you about this. Now, typically a man's life gets better. And we're, we're, we're leaving women off of the, the no, burden right. for right now. Okay. No women. A man's life improves. I can say this for myself. When he decides he wants to live a better life, regardless of who's there. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, well okay. Well, I was, okay. Let me, uh, okay. You're, you're absolutely right. Um, like for instance, I used to work at a place called kids kingdom making $4 and 35 cent an hour. <laughs> I was oh. getting a lot of pussy from single moms, but I was, I was, it was like a knockoff of Chuck E. Cheese, but, uh, and I had a raggedy apartment and I had a car raggedy, and sometimes I took the bus, you know, uh, but the thing I always did was I was always coming up with ideas of businesses to start. I, I would do a whole lot of things. I would grind. I, you know, um, one thing my mentor taught me was, you know, while everybody's, you know, sleep is for those that don't want to do shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't sleep. I mean, I usually get three or four hours of sleep because if you if you sleep and you ain't making money in my mind. So I'm, I'm always looking and, you know, we have a show on our, our radio show. I call this thing called Stomp the Dean because I tell these guys, I got the solution. You tell me what you want to do. I can come up with a, a, a outline of how you can create your business. But mm -hmm. I also tell these guys that you got to start watching Shark Tank. There's a, I don't know if they have it out there, but there's a show called Shark Tank. And it comes on every Friday night. And I tell guys, you got five billionaires on a, on a chair you can't even spend you know how much it's gonna cost just to get a one-on-one -on -one with these motherfuckers you got right. five billionaires and they're giving you free advice free. on how to start a business and y'all don't want to watch i watch that shit like it's religion to me but what i what i tell guys like for instance every time a shark buys a company I look into that company and wait for the stock, see if they're gonna drop stock. Because you know why? Because the sharks are gonna make money. They that's why they that's why they invested in the company because they want to make money. And but people don't want to look in between the lines and like you know for like I tell guys invest in Nike because every time they put out a new pair of Jordans, you got all these motherfuckers around the the building wanting to buy a five dollar pair of shoes. Fuck the Jordans. I want to take that two fifty, buy me some stock, flip that shit buy some more stock watch shark tank watch the companies they invest in look at those companies and say to myself okay when are they gonna drop some stock because once they do that because you know the sharks gonna try to raise the stock up get the prices up high mm -hmm. i want to get up high and drop that shit and get paid but again o'shea you gotta have that mentality of being better and want to work hard and you can't have this mentality that you know life life is hard Life is hard. So what? Okay. We, we, we understand that life sucks. You know, you got all these fucking things that's going against us. Okay. Fuck it. 
what are you going to do about it? You you can't allow life to tr- uh, to make you or or, or or force you to do shit. You got to do it, O'Shea. It's you that has to do it. Wow. That's, that's listen, y'all. That's such a good point. What he's saying, okay. And I, I mean, everything he's talking about, you, but brother, this is so true. This is why I come on and 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 do this, okay. YouTube don't necessarily pay a lot of money, right? I I, I went nineteen months on YouTube before I made a dollar. I I didn't even have my AdSense on. But you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to I wanted people to experience an improvement of a quality of life, right? Listen to what he's talking about. He's saying. That the billionaire mindset, they don't, uh, you have to think that you are worth this shit, right? Mm-hmm. You know, these dudes start off many times that are self made, then they come from their family. I ain't talking about the Waltons and shit. Yeah, yeah. These dudes come from nothing, man, like you. Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Zero. 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 You know what I mean? You think Phil Cole and all these guys who live overseas or do whatever they're doing, it might not be your dream. These dudes, you have every opportunity to do what anybody else is doing in whatever field you choose to do it in, right? O'Shea, oh, O'Shea, you, this is the biggest, this, this is the saddest part. This, this is what saddens me about a lot of young men. Mm-hmm. Today, we have the opportunity where we don't have to sell out the back of our car anymore. If, as long as you have access to the world, it's, that's why it's called World Wide web if you have access to that you don't you can work from home i have had guys has said you know what man dude i'm an artist i don't know what to do you know what i taught him to o'shea i said look this is what we're gonna do you you you, kids kids are huge okay this is what i need you to do because i even gave him idea i came up with a cartoon with honey bunny freddie the frog tinky the squirrel Ollie alligator sneaky snake okay we're going let's let's create yourself a cartoon and with a cartoon we'll create some puppets and what i need you to do is do some shows on youtube and and start doing t-shirts gearing towards the kids and then taking that and sending that to disney and all these other kitty things and start working on books and and if you can work on little kitty books because kids make kids are money that's a money business but again you can't do that if you don't have that drive or thought. Pro- if you think right, and it was sad again, if you feel like you can't create a business today with the internet, then you you're not. You, you just need to stay home, dog, because the internet has. Hey, look, like you say, O'Shea. If there, what, what would you be doing right now, O'Shea? If there was no internet, think about. It. I can't even imagine what would we be doing right now if there was no internet. You know what I mean? Oh, struggling. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. But again, I just get in where I fit in. I I, like I say that's why I help guys. It, it, you, you just tell me what you like to do. That's what we we try to help these guys. That you know, for uh, the guy that says we only talk about women. No, I want your quality of life to go good as well. You call in the show. Tell me what you want, what you do for a living, what you want to do, and I will automatically in my head, boom. I will come up with an idea and a starting point to get you started on your business. But again, O'Shea, a lot of guys, a lot of talk and no action, man. Wow. In this interview, I'm actually going to post it on my main channel. Uh, soon as it's completed, if you want to hear this. Um, let's do an intermission, guys. I, I really thank you all for tuning in. Um, you guys know that I'm, I'm trying to be the hardest working man in black YouTube since I got a dead week next week, no no school, just final exams, not until two weeks from now. So I'm trying to put out as much content. I've been bringing a lot of special guests on for you guys. I had Al Grease on yesterday, had him sitting a little bit later that night. Um, we had, uh, uh, now we have Steve the Dean. So listen, we, we are bringing people uh, to the channel to help you. Yes, and for those of you who don't know, I have a main channel. Uh, comment below if you don't know about my other channel, okay? Just say, please, you know, let me know. I'll send you the link to my main channel. I actually have over 800 videos you've never seen, but I haven't uh, unlocked some of them yet. So if, you, if you've never had my main channel, uh, so, uh, comment below, okay? Comment below. And uh, what I will what I will do is uh, you can subscribe to my main channel there. Let's like the video for Steve. Let's like the video. Okay. 
and get the likes up, okay? We have 159 people watching. Let's get the, the likes up. Look behind you, O'Shea. What do you see behind you? You got a whiteboard behind you. How many guys have a whiteboard behind them where they write their ideas down and write how they're going to do it? Yeah, you got to write that. I mean, look, you, you're showing them. That's that's what I'm saying. It, you, you can't expect it to be handed to you. It doesn't work that way. You got to do that. Like what she's pointing at, that's the whiteboard. That's the whiteboard of ideas. You see all the scribble. You can't really read it, but you know what? That's coming from the dome of O'Shea himself that he's putting his thoughts down on something. So in case he forgets, he can go back and come and grab from that dog. That, I, I gotta say, O'Shea, I, 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 hey, maybe it's just us, dog. Maybe, maybe there's something wrong with us. <laughs> you got something, man. And, and Steve point on point. This whiteboard I got across the street um i had it for two years now okay everything that i do for school when i started the negro manosphere all of those numbers are there on that whiteboard the Cavs court 25 dollars. thank you for the donation brother i'm rich appreciate you thank you so much man and make sure you uh subscribe to the, the negro manosphere okay uh, thank you for the donation. If you guys have not subscribed, leave your email below. Every fucking day I come on here, I write on this board. Every day. <laughs> not a day that doesn't go by, I don't write something on there. And when I wanted to start the Negro Manosphere, the website, when I wanted to start this current channel you're on right now, when I wanted to start uh, my vlogging and I went out and bought the um, the uh, 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 GoPro, you guys see me, I I've been in Budapest with it. Okay. You guys didn't think I was living in Poland. I got eight blogs of me in Poland, right? I'm going to I'm going to Berlin, Germany in the next 48 hours, or in the next 40 to 72 hours. All of that shit is planned here. Those ideas come into fruition because I plan my quality of life. You understand that? You can do that. I mean, you know, like I said, ugly and broke, but getting pussy. That's me. Frankfurt was the shit. Oof, I, I was in I was in bomb holder Germany, so I <laughs> went to Ida Overstein, Ramstein, Frankfurt. Oh shit, man! Anyway, I mean, I've only been to she she did, I've never Frankfurt. Been. Hey, dog, Frank. Oh boy, go to Frankfurt. They love the brothers. <laughs> they love the brothers in Frankfurt. I mean, yeah. listen, uh, this board was about forty fifty bucks, and he to the point, man. This, this is what you brothers got to do. Your quality of life starts on paper. I'm gonna do a video on that. Let's start some but, paper, man. But 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 you know what, O'Shea is another important thing that a lot of guys understand is if you want if you want success, you're gonna have to start. You're gonna have to push your ego aside and be a student of the teacher that's gonna teach you how to be more successful. Because right now, a lot of you guys don't know the 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 turns and, and and ups and downs of success because i just want to let you know it's not always like you you see lavish cars and and women and boats i'm telling you guys it's a 25 hour eight day a week job you don't have no days off you always are on you always working you you on your days off you working so you know there's some pitfalls and there are things y'all need to understand about that but i'm just saying that o'shea they need to learn if if you again it's always you need someone that's going to teach you. Follow somebody and learn, man. Listen, what you just said is important. I'm going to come back to, 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 to another question, but what did you say the last part? Follow somebody and learn. Listen, before I came to Poland, right, I knew I was trying to come to, to Europe, but I was trying to get people's experiences like living in Poland. So I, I wasn't even really YouTubing in. I was um, watching Phil Cole versus the Universe. I was watching the Charles Tyler show and I was just soaking up information like these black dudes that lived overseas. I really didn't know anybody else that was like, you know, angry man or obsidian. I didn't know any of those guys. I was just, you know, listening to their experience of what to do, what not to do, you know, what certain things they were going through. And, and, and Charles Tyler was always saying, keep the U.S. dollar following you, following you. I didn't know nothing about making no money on YouTube. I don't know money about making, you know, any money on Patreon. I didn't know anything about that. But when you follow dudes who have done this and they give you information, you got to listen to that shit, you guys. Like, the, the, the game, I mean, with all the information on the internet or YouTube today, on Google, there's no reason for you to be broke. If you were broke and best and discuss it, 
That's your fault. Mm-hmm. I mean, it ain't like back in the day we had to go to the library and get books. I mean, you have billionaires who have blog sites that give you free information on how to do shit step by fucking step. You niggas won't read the shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Listen, I got 200 and fucking something posts on the Negro Manuscript. Steve the Dean got four of them. You think you niggas go over there and read that shit? No, no. You niggas won't read that motherfucking shit. Listen, you niggas would rather come in here and donate all your money on the goddamn Super Chat or send me all the money on PayPal and you still won't read it. Oh man, $100. Thanks, for saying. And you don't even read it. Should, should, should you help us support? Like, Alan Roger Curry writes all the time. Josh Little wrote over five, 12 finance articles. How does, how to, uh, uh, l- listen, hold on a second. L- let me give you an example of the shit that you niggas don't read. Let me just, uh, here's how dumb some of you niggas are. I'm just gonna keep it real. Let's be honest, let's have a conversation. You Negroes, this is what y'all do. Josh Little, he wrote, I'm gonna just talk about the finance section of shit. I, I, gotta, I gotta go over this shit because it's, it's, it's fucking hilarious. How to create baby millionaires. Okay, first of all, this is for y'all who got kids. Okay? Do you know how many comments that article got? Yes, yes, Steve. Uh, how many did he got? Uh, yes. Uh, what was the name of it? What was the name of the article again? How to create millionaire babies. Oh, uh, I'm sure it didn't get that many because if it didn't have anything about uh, probably rap or hip hop or some shit, it wasn't going to do good. Did it good? Zero comments. Wow. Zero comments. Wow. Uh, uh, let's talk about uh, so oh shit, money and fuck you money. Building a business. Okay, building a business is like learning on steroids. Get wealthy with unsexy IRAs. The credit score can be trusted with debt. How to measure up your credit report and why you need to read it. Now, this is this is money that these Negroes donate now. Listen, this is what y'all, the death of bad credit. How to fix your credit score. Good debt versus bad debt. Saving money, stop spending money like an idiot, part one. Compound interest, the most powerful force in the universe. The key to building wealth is investing. Saving money, stop spending money like an idiot, part one. All of these articles are on the negromanosphere.com. Do you think you niggas read it? it you, 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 know, you know what, dog? I just, speaking of dog, I just thought about something. I mean, think about this. Y'all guys want to say, if anyone makes wants to make an excuse that I don't have money, you take $25. Yeah, of course, you know, donate to, to O'Shea, absolutely. But if you have an extra $25, you can go buy a dog leash, get a, some business cards at Vista Print for $9. You can start a dog walk, a walking company. You can do that, create a website. You go to upper middle class places because they care about their dogs. Then from that point, you can go home, get some peanut butter, start creating dog treats. You can start selling those. You can start doing dog clothes. You can have dog parties. You can have a grooming business. So if you can expand. Again, this is just off of walking a fucking dog where you can do YouTubes on our dog training, pee training. I, I mean, I, I can go on and on. Guys, I, I, there's just no excuse why you can't do anything because you can even be a dog sitter. I mean, I'm just, I mean, you see, O'Shea, I'm just, it's just pulling off the top of my head all the things you can do with just a fucking dog. Dog birthday cakes, uh, dog pictures. You can make dog cookies. I, it's just, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, dog. I don't know, man. I mean, hey, what do I know, dog? I don't know, man. I, just... I mean, here's the thing. We'll keep going, but listen. The information is available. Even on the Negro manosphere, it's available. Like I said, this is this is money you guys support, whether you whether you like the videos, watch the videos, that's supporting the Negro manosphere, donating. This is what we do for men. Steve Dean went and wrote an article. And listen, you know, we know that y'all actually, the site, the trite does get traffic because it's been increasing like and crazy. But you guys, when it comes to these things, y'all are not that serious. Oh, O'Shea, can you put the camera on me real quick? <coughs> Look at this real quick. Okay. So I want to show you, like when I was doing my video games, right? 
I, I wanted to be different from everybody else and I wanted people to see me. So let me show you my business card. Now I got this from a Cracker Jack box idea. You remember Cracker Jacks when they used to have that little prize on the inside, they had a little piece. So we'll look at my business. This is an old business card. You see it? I'm going to show you right now. See, it's a business card, but watch when you move it. It's holographic. See that? See that mm -hmm. shit? That's the kind of shit that people will just start to see and see that shit. See that? That's the kind of stuff that gets you noticed because you need to learn how to not only do a business, O'Shea, but also be able to separate yourself from everybody else to show them why they should invest. Just like with women, why should you invest your pussy or your money into me? Because I'm different from everybody else. But like I said before, O'Shea, a lot of these guys are what we call cookie cutters. They think the same. They act the same. They behave the same. They talk the same, text the same and go have dinners with women the same. So women don't want that, nor do companies. Hmm. Wow. He said, thanks, that business card is dope, man. Steve, let me just ask you um, some other things. Yes. Once you decided that you wanted to change your life for yourself, yes. yes. what happened? Well, what happened was I, I knew that changing my life is going to have a, with the bad news, which is really I don't know, the, the bad news for the guys. Change your life. Changing my life meant I had to cut a lot of people out of my life, a lot of family members, a lot of friends, because I do not want to be around any negative people. I don't as much even I, hey, even if it's your mom, I got to cut her off, too. If she's negative, got to let her go as well, because I can't be around that. But what happened was once you get rid of all the trash behind you, all of a sudden things become a little more clear. But even on top of that, you become a little more different because then you're you're an anomaly to some people because then all of a sudden, you know, why are you stay? Hey, let's hey, let's go party. Let's go have a good time. No, man, I got I got I got this work to do. I mean, there are going to be times where you're going to miss out on the parties and the get togethers because you got to put work in. You got to get your grind on. And one thing my dad taught me at a young age, while everybody was out partying, he was hitting the books. Now, at an older guy, he can go out partying while motherfuckers are struggling. And that was the mindset that he gave me, and that's what I've always took with me. And, and now you live, I mean, hey, I'm sorry, I lost your videos. Hey, man. <laughs> great neighborhood. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> is it true? Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, man. But I'm just saying, though. You got, just, yeah. <laughs> you got expensive, nice. You got better equipment than anybody on YouTube that I know. Uh, right? Man, come on, man. <laughs> you work you work. Right? Yeah, man. Yes. You guys are not talking to somebody who just shoot, who shoot on his ass. You got to talk to a dude that, that, that has, has been where you are. Yes, we are, and maybe some of you guys. You know, we have. I have a lot of successful people, man. That's on my channel that, you know, are doing way better than me. But I'm talking about for the brothers who are, are you know, came from nothing, trying to do something. You know, I'm not where I want to be yet. Right. But we want to just basically, you know, allow you to know that you can get there, and, and we yeah, are yeah, yeah. about you, you know, uh, improving your quality of life. Um, Steve, is, is there anything else that you would, would like to talk about today, or? Uh, Oh, we, were talking, we, we were talking about rejection and everything. And um, uh, well, I, I, I just want to say for the guys out there is that I, I, I know it's difficult to push your pride aside. That, you know, one of the hardest things to do is to learn from somebody else, because it, for us, it's like, man, I don't why would I want to listen to this motherfucker here or why would I want to listen to that motherfucker there? And, and the thing about me when I was nine years old, uh, O'Shea. Uh, you know, I, you know, like I told you, I was, a, you know, I, I get girls, you know, and stuff like that. But when I met my mentor, I had two mentors. I had one was a guy and the one that fucked me was a 24 year old bisexual stripper when I was 13. And she, uh, when she taught me now, and again, this is what I talk about to my guy, my clients. She, she fucked me up bad, but it was the best thing to happen. O'Shea, check it out. And I, I'm proud to tell you this. O'Shea, check this out. After she got done with me, and, and this is a lesson, though, I, I couldn't eat, couldn't sleep. Now I'm like 14 years old, guys. Okay, at 14, I was crying like a little bitch. I'm talking about snot coming out my nose, tears. I was holding on to pillows. I was listening to sad songs. 
I couldn't play my video games. I was all fucked up. But guys, let me, guys, guys, the best thing she ever taught me. You know why? Because in her fucked up world, she wanted me to feel what I'm about to put women through. So once she showed me what to do, then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, look, look, oh, every woman I meet, you're fucked. Because I know, I know when I get done with you, you're going to be the one crying. You're going to be one holding on to the pillow. You're going to be one listening to the sad songs. You're going to be one begging. You're going to be the one wishing I didn't take the dick off the table. And no shade. How many people do you hear nowadays say, well, I had to, you know, I had to punish my girl, so I had to take the dick off the table. You don't hear that. You usually hear that, well, I got in trouble and she ain't fucking me today. But that's what I'm saying, dog. It's, it's so much more. It's not just the sex aspect. It's the mental game as well, man. Mental game as well. Okay. Is there anything else you had to had to say? Uh, well, yeah. Well, one more thing I want to say, and, and guys, on Tuesday, see, here's the thing, O'Shea. That that this it just is sad to me. You know, we have a a good uh, listening audience on our Tuesday. We do a live YouTube's on Tuesday and Wednesday night. And what I do on Tuesdays, O'Shea, because mm -hmm. again, the guys always say, "Well, I don't know how to approach a woman." I don't know how to talk to a woman. So guess what I do, O'Shea? Nobody's doing it, O'Shea. I say, you know what? I'm going to bring a fine-ass motherfucking woman as my co-host. And all you guys got to do is call into the show and talk to her. And, and we, I'll be able to critique what you're doing right and wrong. And yet, these guys, see, that's the thing, O'Shea. A lot of guys say they want businesses. A lot of guys say they want pussy. A lot of guys say they want women. But when you give them the opportunity, like I do, I got the, I got the, like I said, I got the chat line that gives them opportunity to talk to women that want to get the fuck on. I got that for you. Tuesdays, I got a woman on my show where you can call in and approach her. Let us hear your approach. And then I can tell you what you're doing right and wrong. Y'all do a role play. You just walk up and you start talking to her. But guess what, O'Shea? They scared. They don't want to do it, dog, because it's the fear of success, man. Hmm. I gotta call in. Uh, on, I, I gotta listen to this on Tuesday. So let me do this. Let me let me post Steve the Dean's channel, okay? Uh, and for those of you who have uh, been listening, wow, we are in for such a great treat, man. Uh, Steve the Dean has a wonderful channel. Uh, he's a guy who really loves what he's doing. Uh, thank you guys for those of you who were not subscribed to my main channel and didn't know I had another channel. I have over 800 videos on my main channel, but a lot of them are locked up on private. I'm releasing those. But let's do this. Let's support Steve the Dean here, you guys, okay? <coughs> what I want to do is go in the comment section, all right? And uh, subscribe to Steve the Dean, all right? I think since he's been coming on to my channel, he's gained Yes. Maybe, I don't know, how many subscribers have you gotten so far? Uh, hey, hey, shit, dog, we, I'm close, I mean, uh, shit, I, I'm sure over a thousand, I think, is it, I mean, over yeah, you've done, yeah, yeah, you've done, a, yeah, I appreciate you, man. Over a uh, thousand. Yeah. So yeah. that means over, yeah. you have some good information. And also, this is going to go on the main OSHA DGX channel. So most of you have been following me for a long time. You guys know that, uh, that, that, that my main channel is a, is a, is a real heavy channel. Um, the videos I have on private, if I take all those videos off of private, I have 10 million channel views. All right? So uh, so that main channel will be there, so you guys can get a lot of views over there. What I want to do is this, okay? Um, for those of you, I want to talk I'm gonna talk to you about something real quick, okay? Sure, sure. I need to support people like Steve the Deans and the Negro Man Spirit. Ebony.com has been reported that Ebony.com, I'm going to come on and probably do another hangout tonight. Ebony.com has fucked around and not paid many of their staff writers for four years. I'm going to repeat, have not <laughs> paid their staff writers for four years. This is Ebony. They've been around for 70 years, plus years. They have been bullshitting with black men. They crush black men, talking about they don't want no... Um, they don't want no cheap, broke men, and yet they can't even pay their own writers. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know the Negro Manosphere? I don't have the money Ebony has, right? Do you know that the, 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 the Negro Manosphere pays those who write the core staff writers mm -hmm. a month in advance? Wow. 
Wow. Uh, a month in advance. Wow. That's I'm, talking about, I'm talking about column writers. You're talking about Obsidian, those who are bloggers, stuff like that. The brothers have paid, and they have been doing this before even me and Steve hooked up. Me and Steve hooked up since March. Yeah. But uh, since we started in November, all of our writers have been paid. We, we don't have one person out there that says, I've written an article for the O'Shea, a thousand word article, and have not been paid. And do you know why? Because of brothers like you. Now, here's the thing I want to say today before you make the, the, the plea. Now, uh, we're on Patreon. Okay. I appreciate all the brothers signed up. I do want two brothers today to go sign up on Patreon for five dollars a month. And what you what you do is you help pay people like, you know, even Steve. Steven doesn't really not a writer, but even if you know, you help you help make a position available for Steve. You help make a position available for people like me. You brothers are actually paying for black male's business. And what you're doing is we're telling shit from our point of view. Because the media doesn't want a Steve the Dean Williams to get famous. All right? They don't want people like Steve the Dean saying what he's saying. Right? Feminists hate people like Steve the Dean. Is that right? Oh, they yeah. They want you to put out your own media. The media that the man mindset, they don't want that out there. Okay, and you brothers to continue to have people like Steve the Dean, right? He, he has products that cost money. You know, if you want your own media as black men, we need your support. Keep supporting us. You can sign up for a monthly pitch of five dollars a month on the uh, on Patreon. Okay, and what that does is that basically helps us stay afloat. And what I do is I do private videos on there. And what I'm gonna do if we get more brothers there. Hey, we got enough money to bring on Steve the Dean. Maybe get a session, a private session. I could pay him. You know, well, I, I don't have enough money to pay Steve. OJ, OJ. Yes. How many? How many donations did we get today? How many guys have donated to you today? A lot of. Oh, we got some things. I got like maybe them took super chat. So I have in the super chat uh, about. Let me look here. Hold on a second. In the super chat, we have so let me go ahead and talk about the guys who did donate. So Doug757 donated as usual. Thank you. Uh J Skills, the Calf Courts, Ariel Garcia, Perry Stanislaw, Crystal, and High Death. Those are the brothers that donated in uh in, in this kicker string. Well, you know what? Lock those down. You know what? I don't want to put you to work, but you know how that goes. Lock them down. Send me their message, and you know what I do. Um, uh, what I'm gonna do? I guess, like you say, you want coaching. You want to give him some free coaching? Would you like me to do that? You know what? what? Would you like, dog? You let me know. I mean, I tell you what. How about giving the Steve audio book? We're gonna give him. Some. All right, all right. Let's give him audio. Okay. All right. I'm gonna give him some. All right. I'll give him some. I, I, I you lock those guys. Just those guys. Don't anybody. Not no one now. Everybody that donate now, because remember, it was because they want to. Now, because they want something free, they did it out right. their heart. They did it because it kind of inside their heart. So here's what's gonna happen. Those of you who don't, those of you who donated, drop your emails below. Okay, I have your user chat name. We're gonna send you a two hundred dollar audio book, right? From from Steve Dean Williams. I, I, I never asked him. Do he did this other kind of his heart? So if you donated, so Crystal, I think I don't know. High Def already got it before. Doesn't matter what amount. Um, drop your emails. Okay, yeah. we're gonna go ahead in 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 because that's how support systems work, guys. And I mean to interrupt you, O'Shea, but th this is what O'Shea's talking about. See, yeah, you, you gotta understand how karma works. You 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 give something and you will always get something back three or four fold. And that's that's how we supposed to be. We're supposed to be looking out for each other and supporting each other through our endeavors and and rate and uplifting. You know what I mean? That's all. So oh okay, Crystal says she says she'll take you up on the free coaching. Yes, yeah, sir. yeah, tell it, yeah, yeah, tell it, yeah, because all my stuff are for guys. So I, 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 if, I hate, I hate talking to women, but I'll talk to you because I, I, I'm a man of honor. So if you want me to coach you, I will be more than happy to coach you for 30 minutes or something like that. You just have all your questions, and I'll do it. But for the guys, I got some pipe hitting shit for y'all. I'll, I'll send y'all some shit. Okay. So let me do this. The calf scout. All right, I got your information, um, and then we have that, and also Ariel Garcia. Uh, I think, I don't know if Ariel got it last time. Okay, so we got that. And also here, for you brothers, right? I just want to also say this, and, and Steve, I don't know if you know this, 
Um, I talked to Chris from Pump Chasers, all right? Chris Jones from Pump Chasers, okay? Oh, he got it before. Okay, Doug already got it. So, so Doug, how'd you like it, brother? Did you like it? Let's, 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 let's see what Doug says. Doug got it before. Doug, how'd you like it? I'm just waiting on Doug to respond. So Chris Jones from Pump Chasers is going to be here on Thursday. Now, PumpChasers.com, Chris is one of the most uh, famous black bodybuilders in the world, up there with, like, Cali Muscle, C.T. Fletcher. Wow. Um, Steve, go check him out, man, because he has over 400,000 YouTube subscribers. Wow. Yeah, he came on the other night about a week ago. It was my birthday. He dropped me uh, uh, $100 in the Super Chat. Um, and it's so funny. It started off uh, with me. Uh, he came out the and I bought something from him. He right. was in favor. So I think what I'm going to do, uh, because you've got brothers who've been so good, I'm, I'm going to basically, when he comes on, we're going to have a, a, a good show. And hopefully we can get uh, some of that traffic because, you know, we all benefit, you know. If yes. you work with Chris Jones, Steve Williams, to get a chance to know him. We had Anthony Brian Logan. He came on the other night, 106,000 subscribers. He came on in, to this channel. And hung out for three hours. So listen, man, brothers are really connecting. We're doing a great thing. So I have your emails. Also, if you want to be subscribed to the Negro Manosphere, drop your email right now. Okay? If you're not subscribed to the Negro Manosphere, it's free. So Nick Ellis, uh, you brothers, uh, drop your email. Mo Geechee, put your email down there. Uh, Doug757. He said, excellent information. It was a good, great audio book. And uh, so you guys, drop your emails, right? Because you want to go and check out Steve's information on there, too. And and, and let's go to the man mind, the, sorry, www.themanmindset.com, yes. It's the man mindset. The man mindset. The man mindset. Yeah, the man mindset. mindset.com. All right. So once again, man, I really appreciate you. Thank you, Lenny Daniels. And like I said, I need two brothers per podcast. I want you to go over there and sign up on Patreon.com. You know, to keep the guys like Steve and Dean coming over here, giving you guys this. We give back, all right? We give back to our listeners. Steve is giving, you know, you know I, I give. But once again, you spend that $5, fuck with these fat holes and shit. Come over here. Okay, bring your motherfucking ass over here. Sign up. This nigga said, sign up, okay, over to Negro Manosphere. In Patreon, and you know, stop buying hoes barbecue sauce, okay? And get uh, cracking up, okay? So, you guys can get a Patreon link, all right? So, I expect to see us to be at 42 Patreons instead of 40. <laughs> if you do that, you niggas need to stop that hoes with your sandals. I know y'all niggas do. Okay, one well, before we do that, before we do that, before we do that, I see you guys here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send you guys a confirmation email. Those of you who just dropped the email, I want you to check your email address. And, Steve, uh, maybe you have something else you have you want to say here. Yeah, yeah. I, and, I, and I just want to say to the guys, uh, everyone in the, the chat room, I just want to say thank you. Uh, and, again, I just want to say thank you to you guys because uh, is, you don't have to be here. But I, I'm sure Shay appreciates you. And I just want to say thank you for taking time out of your, your day just to sit here and hang out with us. And I, I really do appreciate that. And I just want to say to you guys that, look, man, my my job, I'm, I'm, I'm here for you to the day I die. And I, I'm going to do everything I can to to give you the guidance that you need, uh, to give you instructions to help you build a business, help you get the confidence that you want. And 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 I'm going to do things like the chat, the, the chat line. Guys, I'm telling you all, go to the website. Just call, call and say some shit and y'all get to hear it yourselves. I'm not, I don't need to sell it because that shit will sell itself, but I'm here for you. So, oh, and also I just want to say if anyone, did, where they, as far as products go, whenever you get a product, the thing that we do that no one else does is that whenever you get a product from me uh, and you have a problem, you can send me a message and I'll call you myself with nobody else. I'll call you myself. And we'll talk for a few minutes to help you out because I don't want you to feel like you're a number. And and we appreciate all of our clients, man. I wanted you to really, really know that I'm fighting for you. So that's all I want to say, bro. All right. So I'm going to contact you on, on Facebook. I'll be back uh, within another hour, man. I'm working overtime. So I got another hangout with um, my buddy in Atlanta. We're going to talk about this Ebony.com situation. Thank you guys again. And Steve, I'll be messaging you here. Uh, yes. You guys do me a favor, Manolo. Thank you for your email. 
Um, you guys check your email. Those of you who dropped your email, I'm going to send Steve the Dean Williams the emails here very shortly and confirm and the, uh, the, the Negro Manosphere, okay? Yeah. Peace out. I'm going to hit you up right now, Steve. All right. Thank you, man.